At Starbar and Central Life Sciences, it's really about an integrated pest uh, management. It's about solutions for all levels. And so when we think about fly control, it's really about uh, knowing the entomology of the, of the fly, its habits, and, and what it, it's supposed to do. We know that flies act differently and they do different things at different height levels. So the Starbar products have been designed to appeal to the flies and to catch or uh, attract or do whatever it needs to do to the flies at the right level. Typical fly behavior, uh, you know, when we look at a barn, say, uh, you know, at the high level, they're resting. Uh, medium level, what we consider, you know, maybe a couple feet up off the ground is, is kind of where they're breeding, where they're mating. And then at the lower level, uh, that's, that's where they're typically feeding. So that's, that's kind of what we uh, put our system together as a high, medium, low, and uh, defining those uh, certain habitats of where flies will be. Well, the first thing I would do is find out what kind of fly they're trying to target because a house fly and something like a stable fly are going to be two separate animals and we're going to have to go up to those in different ways. The other thing I would want to know is how they use the product because if they put it in the right place, that's going to make a difference versus putting it in the wrong place. So some of the best products at the high level would be easy traps, fly sticks, and lure fly uh, tapes. So those are, those are typically what you use up high. I would, I would definitely place them in a ceiling at a grafter type of area. It's a cool area and they, they tend to rest in areas like that. So early parts of the day, that's where they're going to be up high and start their day out. At the medium level, again, we're, we're looking at the place where they're breeding and mating. Uh, we want to look at stuff where we can use pheromones and trap these flies. Uh, one of those is Captivator, uh, the Fly Terminator Pro, uh, the Trap and Toss, a fly, relief, fly Relief Bag, and then also we have a Milk Jug uh, Disposable Kit. Um, on top of all that, because we're using a pheromone, we have a fly uh, attractant refill, so that way you can reuse these products over time. So at the medium level, you just want to make sure that you're putting it on proper uh, placement, really corrals, walls, fences, anything, anywhere that uh, you can be that'll pull those flies away from your livestock, whether it's a dairy barn, feed barn, a stable, tack room, whatever it may be. At the low level, when flies are feeding, uh, the baits that we typically use there they have a two-part uh, approach. They have an attractant in them to bring the flies in, and then they've also got the bait. So when the flies feed on it, they're gonna go ahead and die from the ingestion. The three baits that we have at the low level are Gold Malrin, Quick Strike, and Cyanorox. Uh, they're all three different modes of action with different active ingredients, and it provides uh, a true rotation for these products so you can avoid some resistance issues. Make sure that you are hitting each area that uh, of control within the, air, the different areas where the flies might be spending their time or the insects might be spending their time uh, during the day so that you're covering all areas to make sure that uh, all flies are controlled in your, in your barn. 